The Forgotten Minotaur King Side Quest The History of the Wolfkeep Kingdom Once a small collection of farmers and a common rest stop for traveling merchants, the large unnamed field of land that was to someday become the Kingdom of Wolfkeep would have been easily overlooked by any would-be conquerors or aspiring emperors. Perhaps that is why it took a young cornplower's son in Pandolfo Wolfkeep to raise this swath of countryside and its adjacent swamplands into a country known all across Indignia. Despite surnames not being common among the lower born, Pandolfo earned his title of Wolfkeep when he found a young wolf pup attempting to invade his family's chicken coops. Instead of putting the starving herd down as his father suggested, he kept the wolf which he treated as a slightly larger than average dog well into his adult years. As he grew older, he began to take over all of the farmly chores of not only his own lot, but several of the neighboring homesteads across the still unnamed plains. Between his constant plowing and animal tending duties, a good friend of his aided him in developing an education as well. A young man studying the mystical arts, whose name would also one day be known across the world. Arkham. With his now broadening know-how, Pandolfo and Arkham managed to convince nearly all of the landowners and a significant amount of the mercantile groups to join together and form a proper town. Given it was Pandolfo that joined them, the town was to be named Wolfkeep. Arkham then left to further his studies, leaving Pandolfo and his royal wolf to run the burgeoning town. Soon, Pandolfo was crowned their king. One day, a gathering of citizens came to him with an idea that could raise notoriety of their kingdom, a large coliseum. One of the citizens among the many was a lovely elven maiden named Misty, who would one day become Pandolfo's wife. As Wolfkeep grew larger and flourished, its adjacent swamplands grew smaller and less populated. A small family of Samazatory frogmen, the Pagases, had managed to uproot all other dwellers out of the marsh and into the distant forests. The Pagas family consisted of a single matriarch, her paramour, and their pod of eight tadpolings, made up of four sets of twins, as all Samazatory births are in pairs of two. The second youngest set consisted of the Polywogs, Ludope, and Darian. After the two developed their forelimbs, Darian mysteriously disappeared from the family's hovel. As time passed, one day Ludope began to exhibit peculiar mental powers, testing them on his siblings and eventually his own parents. When a band of mesmerists and mummers traveling to Wolfkeep for the grand opening of the Colosseum sensed Ludope's mental prowess, they beckoned him to join their travels. Having grown tired of the swamps, he acquiesced and went off to meet his destiny with the now king of the land and his soon-to-be employer, Pandolfo Wolfkeep. The first annual tournament announcing the opening of the Colosseum was rather impressive. A number of skilled farmhands took up blunted weapons for the first time in their lives and battled in a large melee across a field bracketed by spectators. Among the warriors, there was the elven maiden Misty. Among all of those competing, she stood out the most, seemingly untouchable by the swinging brutes. She playfully tripped and trotted over them all, and this greatly amused Pandolfo. By the end of the Tourney Royale, Misty was the final person standing. Pandolfo approached her with the winner's crown, which she forsook in exchange for his hand in marriage and the crown of the queen. Moving boldly among the spectators, a mildly amused Ludo made his way to the king. All those gathered around the new couple, well wishing them, began to unwittingly lose the ability to speak or form clear thoughts as the diminutive frogman approached. Bowing his smooth lime green head to the king, but distinctly not kneeling as was custom, Ludo offered his services as an advisor to the king, 
citing his own lifelong allegiance to this land and its people as his proof of loyalty. Seemingly unable to form any other words despite desperately trying, Pandolfo found himself enthusiastically thanking the Samazatori for such an ingenious and incredibly wise beyond his years idea. <laughs>